I've given you a lot to chew on so far. We have video container formats and audio codecs. I gave you a brief history of how we wound up here. What I want to do now is I want to address browser support for both our audio and our video container formats. Now, as mentioned earlier, all of our modern browsers, including Internet Explorer version 9 and higher, support HTML5. While modern browsers support HTML5's video and audio elements, the catch is that they don't all support the same video and audio file formats. Why? Mainly it's related to patent issues. Browser vendors have not yet agreed on a single file format for either audio or video on the web, although they are getting closer and closer. Now, let me give you some additional info here. I'm going to flip over to Chrome where I have this page opened up. Go ahead and pop this page open yourself. Head over to jwplayer.com. Okay, now this page is loaded with great information. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. Here we have market share of browsers and devices. We saw that earlier on on a different website. So you can check that out here as well. I'm going to scroll past that down to media formats. So check this out inside this table here. Inside the left hand column, we have our browsers and then we have video formats and audio formats. OK, so for instance, Google Chrome is going to support the MP4 and the WebM video container formats. Firefox is going to support MP4 and WebM as well. Internet Explorer, MP4, Safari, MP4 and so on all the way down the list. Notice, by the way, that Opera is not on this list. But this gives us a really good sense of what video container formats are going to be supported by which browsers. So if we wanted to narrow down our list of video file formats that we want to include, we can easily see from this chart that it's going to be MP4 and WebM. WebM is a better choice than the AUG container format because it offers better compression and, as we can see here, is supported in a wider range of browsers. However, a quick note for you on the AUG container format, you may want to consider including it as well for visitors to your website that are using browsers that don't support either MP4 or WebM. For instance, users that are using a previous version of Android, for example, or older versions of Opera or Chrome and so on. You may want to consider including AUG. Here's another resource for you, the good old Wikipedia. And there's the URL. And you may want to read up on this page. But you know what I'm going to do? And you can see my link is already turned to purple. I've skipped all the way down to browser support because this is what I'm really interested in here. And I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time going through this massive chart here. But here's how it works. There's your browser running down once again, the left hand column, followed by the operating system and the latest stable release. And then we have our video container format. So there's Fiora, that's our AUG container format, H264, which is our MP4 container format, WebM, actually there's two versions of WebM there, VP8 and VP9. So for example, I can see Mozilla Firefox 3.5 and higher is going to support AUG. And then we have touchy support here for MP4 and also for the WebM format as well. So lots of info here for you to digest as far as browser support goes for our video container formats. The important thing, though, that I want you to do is I want you to test your videos in your various browsers on your various devices as well. OK, so if we can draw a conclusion from all of this and wind up with a list of the most widely supported video file formats for our web projects, they would be MP4 and also WebM. Those are the two biggies that we want to use. And like I said a moment ago, you may also want to consider using AUG as well. Now, what about browser support over on the audio side? Well, I'm going to head back over to the jwplayer.com site that you and I had open. Inside this table that I was just looking at, of course, we also have audio format support as well. And there's our list of audio file formats. So as you can see, MP3 right down the board, OK? We could also use AAC if we wanted to. Don't forget, that's the codec for M4A as well. So if you're concerned about audio quality, perhaps you're building a music-based website, you may want to stick with M4A because it's a higher quality than 
MP3. And notice though that we may also want to include AUG in there as well. That's our Vorbis codec. Now, if you want, you can head over to wikipedia.org HTML5 underscore audio, and we can head down not to supported browsers, but rather supported audio codecs. Go ahead and click on that link. There's our supported audio codec. So once again, the browser is being listed down the left-hand side, the operating system, and then our various audio formats. So as you can see, MP3 widely supported there. Same with the AAC. That, again, is our M4A. So if we wanted to draw a conclusion for our most widely supported audio formats, they would be M4A, AUG, and then also possibly MP3 as well. All right, there we go. There's a look at our browser support for our video container formats and also our audio container formats.